sure where I want to hook it. Okay, I got it. So today is Saturday, the day before Easter, April, and we have just left the Brown Mountain Overlook Trailhead off Skyline Drive in Shenandoah National Park. Temperatures probably in the high 40s, maybe around 50. And we're headed down to the river for today. It's about a five mile straight down hike. and. Uh, we're looking forward to it. We have beautiful views. All right, we're still heading down. A little There's drainage here. Maps, Which maps? The Nat Geo? Yeah. Like the price you pay for the Gaia is probably well worth it. So, so what's our elevation now? We're at 1838 and we're starting to see the stream here or a stream so if we had an emergency and had to camp we'd be good to go all right uh, I, we're almost to the the bottom here of the ridge and uh, the stream is getting really big and it's very nice. So yeah, it's a, still a beautiful day and uh, we're uh, just trekking along. We're on a really nice path right now. So the name of this creek is, uh, and I've already forgot it, but we're headed towards Big Run. This must be Little Run. So beautiful. All right, I just got my shoes back on and uh, we got another crossing here. So I guess I'm gonna get my feet wet. I'm not gonna play around with that game anymore. My gosh, I think she's going to do it. She's going to do it. I saw your foot slide there. Good job. Wow. Really, really good job. So I got my feet wet on that last crossing. Um, on purpose, I, I don't have the... Uh, balance anymore to stand on really really slippery rocks so i didn't care i got a pair of waterproof socks in my pack and i'll put those on at camp 
that that way I can you know put on my tennis on my uh, trail runners. We're almost to camp. We don't know, do not know exactly where we're going, but there are campsites here, and we're looking pretty soon to find one. And here we go, our stream crossing number four, I think. The Stream Crossing Meister. You just gotta pick up some sticks. Beautiful section of the river there. All right, water crossing number five, I think. Beautiful section of the creek, the, the river here. So, we're using Phil's mantra, if you find a good spot, just take a second and look for another spot, and we did. We walked down about a quarter of a mile, we found this little baby here. So we're going to go up here and look for a flat spot.
This is a uh, Durston X Mid 2. So I got the X Mid up and I got the air mattress inflated and the sleeping bag hopefully puffing up. So what I did is, because you know, I had these wet socks from the stream crossings. I took them off and I'll tell you what I'm doing today. I, my shoes are wet, so I, I've got a pair of waterproof socks that I bought from REI. And so my concept is to take off the wet socks, put these on, then I can put on my uh, wet shoes. And the shoes are soaking wet. I wasn't as agile as Jen, who basically a ballet dancer across those rocks. So, um, I'm, so we're going to see how this works. My feet are cold because they've been in the shoes and it's about 54 degrees. They're starting to slightly warm up because I haven't been moving around after changing these socks. So wish me luck. Hope this works. There's a fire ring in our uh, campsite here. Actually, there's a couple of them, but uh, we're in Shenandoah National Park and number one rule, no campfires. the shredded beef brisket that my bro dear brother Cliff shredded beef brisket with barbecue sauce. Best before end of October 22. This is the bridge near our campsite. That is one big giant bridge. Maybe they could have it here for floods or something. Well, we've packed up, having a last, uh, having a last coffee. Jen's having her final tea, and uh, we'll start heading on up. Got down to what did I say? Thirty-four. Thirty-three. At one point, so not too too bad. So I got my waterproof socks on and I've got a, a hand warmer in here to help a little bit I put put the uh, wet the uh, waterproof socks were wet on the outside which made them really cold uh, I had a hand warmer in my bottom of my sleeping bag which kept my feet nice but I made a rookie mistake not bringing a second pair of socks There's the uh, little bit of waterfall next to our campsite. Really pretty.
Yeah, I got quite the the uppity up today. I'm straight up. Um, they're better, at least they'll warm us up pretty good. At least that's what we're counting on. The Brown Mountain Trail taking us back up the Skyline Drive in uh, Shenandoah National Park. Is I-81 running through there? Somewhere. Is that the Shenandoah Valley? I know that <clears throat> you're supposed to see certain peaks like Mass Mountain, you know? Oh, that's right, Mass Mountain. Well, I don't know which one is This is, that's a brutal downhill, like, it's a lot of uphill back up. You know what I mean? It's just... So we're at the last major hilltop. This will be our last head down. However, we have an up right before we get to the parking lot. We gotta go up a couple hundred feet. Not much to see here, it's really scraggly. They had a fire here a couple of seasons ago, so you got a lot of brush. That that hill line in the on the horizon back there, you can't see from this view, but the skyline drive is right there, and there's where the cars are. That's about how far we got to go. About a mile, I guess. How far do you think we have to go? A mile. All right. All right. Here we are again. Uh, take two because I forgot to press start. We're about a mile from the cars, we think. Uh, it's been a lot uh, more challenging. Today, a lot for a lot of the trail, we're only able to do about a mile an hour. I guess it's our first major uphill trend uh, of the season. Um, so yeah, we're both, we'll both be very happy uh, when we get there. Up there, you can see the line that is the parkway. All right, so we got we're going down, 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 and then up, up, up. You're very welcome. Thank you for sharing the pain of the hill of pain, the climb of death.